Hinkley Point is the most expensive nuclear project in the world, but plans have been blighted by doubts and delays. Now, further concern, as EDF's finance director, Thomas Picamal, has departed, warning of an overbearing cash burden. EDF's share price has been dragged down by the company's heavy debts over the last two years. Last month, it announced a 68% collapse in annual profits and a cut in dividends. EDF also has two other nuclear projects in France, which are behind schedule and over budget. The debt burden is dragging on EDF's final decision, according to industry insiders. Well, they're right to consider it, and they obviously will be considering it in great detail before they come to a final decision. They obviously have to weigh up the investment with what the outcome of that investment will be and make a judgment. I think it's going to be very important that they do get to a decision soon. I think that's um, becoming more and more clear. And I hope that that decision enables Hinkley Point to get built and for power to be generated from there because the UK needs it. A statement from EDF headquarters in Paris said the company would make a final investment decision on Hinkley Point, quotes, soon. That decision anticipated in April. As workers at Hinkley Point remain under starters' orders, the political momentum behind the project continues to be strong. French President Francois Hollande, alongside UK Prime Minister David Cameron, last week described it as a pillar of the Franco-British relationship. And the prestige of the project was guaranteed when China's President Xi Jinping put his name to the deal on a state visit last year, underwriting China's financial involvement of more than a third. So with the departure of EDF's chief financial officer, it would appear that the financial arguments against EDF in France at least have been swept aside by political heavy plant. Richard Bestick, CCTV, London.